<clears throat> this is the Eximat 2, and this is the trigonometry practice exam. All right, so for the number one right here, x is representing the angle right here, which goes inside here, which normally we see theta, but you could always use just any other variable here. So when we're trying to find an angle, we're going to have to do the inverse. So we're going to rewrite this problem to go along with the inverse formula. So it's going to be x, because this is what goes inside, or what was inside. So it's x equals inverse sine of my number, which I have right here. Normally we have fractions here, but decimals are the same thing. So it's going to be 0 0.76604. And so second sine point seven six six zero four. Close that enter, and it gets to be forty nine point nine nine. That nine makes this one become a ten. So this is fifty point zero degrees. There we go. Now number two. There's no angles given, so if I take a look and go with what was in, information, um, go with the information given here. So this says this is due east, okay, of D. So it's due east, so it's going this way straight, and this one right here is due south of um, F. So that means that those two make a right angle right here. Now, well, I have two sides of a right triangle. To find a third side, I'm always going to use Pythagorean theorem. So that means, let's go through and label. So this is my C, and call this one A, and call this one B. So it's gonna be A squared plus 18 squared equals 21 squared. Now I'm gonna use my alternate forms that I have for this. So I'm actually trying to solve for the A. So for the A value here, so when it's doing the A, I'm gonna have a equals the square root of the c squared minus b squared here, so it's 21 squared minus 18 squared. Square root, 21 squared minus 18 squared. There we go, and that's gonna give me 10.8 right here. And my kilometers are already labeled here. Now, again, I have another right triangle here. In this right triangle, we're trying to find this side right here, which we're trying to find, says right here, calculate distance OM, OM. So let's see, that's gonna be my hypotenuse, so that's C, let's call this A, this one B. So in my Pythagorean theorem, ABC order, so it's 500 squared plus 1200 squared equals C squared. Now my working around, I end up with C equals the square root of 500 squared plus 1200 squared. Square root 500 squared plus 1200 squared, 1300. So my value right here is 1300 meters. Now this next part says we're gonna calculate angle MON. So trace that over MON and draw an angle in between those. So that's the angle I'm looking for. I'm gonna call that theta. So we're calling that theta right there. So now from this one here, I'm gonna label my sides. So from the angle, this side is considered the opposite. This side right here is considered adjacent. Now, I have to go to my trig, and so opposite adjacent is gonna be tangent. So I have tangent of my angle, which in this case it's theta, is equal to opposite, which is 500 over 1200. And this is, again, an inverse problem like number one. So theta equals inverse tangent, 500 divided by 1200, so second tangent 500 divided by 1200, close. I'm gonna get 22.6 degrees.
There we go. All right, number four. On number four here, let's take a look. So we're trying to find this angle right here. So it says calculate the size of angle, mark P in the diagram, so it's this angle here. So I need to go through and label my sides according to that angle. So this angle over here is going, or I'm sorry, this side is going to be the opposite. This side is adjacent. Opposite adjacent is what ratio? It's going to be the tangent. So I have tangent of P, I'm going to use the angle or the variable that they gave that. So it's going to be 28 over 35. So I get inverse again. So P is equal to inverse tangent of 28 over 35. And in my calculator, so second tangent, 28 divided by 35. And I'm going to come up with 38.7. So that 5 makes that 6 go up. So it's going to be 38. Point seven degrees. Thirty-eight point seven degrees. Now looking at this problem right here, again starting from the angle here. So my angle is going to be this one. So I need to go through and label. Starting off by labeling. So this side is going to be my opposite. So that's the h value. And they gave it a value of h. Okay, so that's opposite. This one right here is hypotenuse. Nothing's over here, so I'm not even going to worry about this one right now. So opposite hypotenuse is going to be sine. So I have sine of 12 is equal to h, which is the opposite, over 20. Multiply both sides by 20. So I'm going to have 20 sine 12 is equal to H because those cancel. Let's see. 20 sine 12. I'm going to get 4.2 because that 5 makes that 1 go up. Now this is going to be 4.2. My units are already there, meters. Now, on this problem here, I'm going to go through and I'm going to do it different colors and I'm going to label it um, with different variables because we have one problem and a whole bunch of different things that we're going to solve for it. So I'm going to make sure I use different variables for each one so it's not confusing as we go back over this. So starting off with ED. So ED, I'm going to trace over the triangle that we're using for ED. So this hopefully is going to help you out. There. That's what we're dealing with right here in blue. So just that triangle. So ED is from here to here. So I'm going to call this one T. So I'm going to use a variable T here for this. So ED, so now from my angle, which is going to be the 16 degrees, this side is going to be considered adjacent. And this side right here is going to be considered the op, uh, hypotenuse. Because if my right angle is here, it's also on this side here. So that's going to be my hypotenuse. Adjacent hypotenuse is going to be cosine. So I have cosine of 16 is equal to t over 65. So multiply both sides by 65. Those cancel. Let's see. I'm going to have 65 cosine of 16. And I get 62.5. So 62.5 is there. And my meters are already labeled. Now, this next one over here, I'm going to call this one U. Now I'm going to skip, I'm going to skip this next part right here because it says DA for down here. Because I'm going to make sure I do everything in this triangle here. So DA is this next part here. So we're looking for that. So I'm using the same triangle. 
That's the reason why I'm skipping this one. All right, so now from this angle right here, this side would be considered the opposite. Now I have the opposite and I wanna use this one because if I made a mistake on this, then this one would be wrong. Okay, I wanna try and limit the possibility for mistakes. So opposite and hypotenuse. So when I have opposite hypotenuse, that's gonna be sine. So let's see, I'm gonna have sine of my 16 is equal to my opposite, which is u over 65. Multiply both sides by 65. Those cancel. So I should get 65, uh, there you go. So 65 sine 16 and it's gonna be 17.9, 17.9 there. Now, the next part right here, FD, I'm gonna do this one in red because I need to show you which triangle that we are dealing with on this one. So FD is actually, all right, sorry about that, my stand fell over. Um, FD, is going to be from here to here. So this is the triangle I'm going to be using for FD. So I'm using the triangle in red for FD. So now I'm going to put my value for ED because I need this value here. So ED was 62.5. I'm going to need this to try and find FD here. Now on this one, I'm using this angle right here, which is 25 degrees. So if I go through and label, so from the 25 degrees, this is gonna be adjacent again. That one's adjacent. And now over here, this one's gonna be opposite because FD is what I'm looking for. That's the opposite of my angle. And I'm gonna give that a variable of W. So it's in red, so you can see the difference. So it's not the U. This one right here is W now. So let's take a look. So from here, this angle, this side is opposite, this side adjacent. So that's gonna give me tangent. I have tangent. So this in red of 25 is equal to, that's gonna be W over 62.5. So multiply both sides by 62.5. So 62.5 tangent of 25, it's going to give me 29.1. So 29.1 meters, this one down here didn't actually have the meters, it should have. All right, now this next part here says show that AF is this. So we're going to prove the work for this, for AF. Correct to one decimal. Now if I look up here, AF is this portion right here. So AF is going to be a portion, and I'm going to do this one in green so we can tell the difference of what goes where. So this portion right there. So for AF, I know what FD is. I know what the whole thing is here. And I also know what AD is or DA is. I know what this piece is here. So I keep using the reference of a sandwich. So you go get a 12 inch sandwich, someone eats eight inches here, and you're trying to figure out what you have left over. So you give a friend that one bite, be like, oh yeah, you can have a bite of my sandwich and come to find out they just wolf down eight inches. So you see what's left over, you need to subtract what they ate and what is left over is what you're gonna have. And one less friend. All right, so now let's take a look. So I'm gonna take the FD, which is the whole length. So think of the length of the sandwich. It's the piece that someone ate and you're trying to figure out what do you have left. So we have FD, which was right here, 29.1 minus the piece that someone ate or this piece right here, 
and that was my AD or DA 17.9 and together that will give me my 11.2 now it says show so this is the information we need for the answer so we're looking for all of that right there so how is it this yes it tells you what the answer is but how did we get that that's important now let's take a look at for this one right here it says the width of the building is 13 meters and that is a b so let's go back up here let's label it a b is 13 meters here and where's my green marker there we go so we're going to be dealing with this triangle here And the next thing it says, it says find the length of rope FB. Now let's take a look. FB is this value here. So in the triangle, this is going to be, okay, let's see. If that is the right angle, that's the hypotenuse. That's the hypotenuse. This value here is going to be 13. And this value here we just found was 11.2. Now, in a right triangle, I don't have any angles, so that means I have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So this value is my C, let's call this one my A, and this one my B. Okay, and that's really important. So that's the C, yeah, bad C. All right, C, A, and B. So I'm gonna use Pythagorean theorem because we don't have any angles given. <clears throat> so let's write it out. So it's gonna be 11.2 squared plus 13 squared equals C squared. Now my formula is gonna look like this, is C equals the square root of 11.2 squared plus 13 squared. <coughs> square root 11.2 squared plus 13 squared. And we get 17 point, that five is gonna make that one round up. 17.2 meters, there we go. Now on this last part of my test, so if we're looking at this, we're trying to find the exact value for x and y in the tr right triangle. Now this is special right triangle, so if this one's 30, this one's 60, it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and we have some special forms. We know that this is gonna be 2x, this side would just be x, and this would be x square root of 3. So now this one is going to be twice the x value. So to figure out this one right here, I know that this is 2 times whatever my short leg is. So if this is twice the short leg, I would take this and divide by 2. So this divide by 2, and that's going to give me my short leg. So 10 divided by 2, that's going to give me 5. So x equals 5. So if my short leg is five, this side right here is gonna be x, this one right here times square root of three. So whatever my short leg is times square root of three. This is five square root of three. Now, it says exact value, and so they're asking for this right here, not asking for the decimal. So you have to make sure it's gonna be like this, please. <clears throat> now, for number eight, it says what is the exact value? This is a 45, 45, 90. So if this is gonna be eight squared to two, we know in a 45, 45, 90, both the legs are the same. So what I'm gonna do here is, I know that this one's going to be, so for my formula, it's x, x, x square root of two. So it's whatever my leg is times the square root of two. So to get this one right here, to try and figure out what my short leg is gonna be, I would take this value, whatever I have here, no matter what, and always divide by square root of two. So when I divide this by square root of two, it's gonna give me my legs, both legs here. So that would be eight square root of two over square root of two. Those cancel, and that's gonna give me my x value. So my x value here, so that would be this one here, so that's gonna be eight. And we know that in a 45, 45, 90, both legs are the same. So this value is also gonna be eight.